I felt as though it would be good for me to help other people because I was in that predicament multiple times. I've been homeless before. I've been in and out of foster homes, so I felt as though it was right for me because I could tell my story, basically. The one thing that people in positions of power don't really know a lot about youth in this system is how resilient we can be. When people act like they can't help or they don't know what to do to help. They don't have an entire court proceeding that involves a young person where they don't speak at all. We as adults or policymakers, whoever, make a lot of decisions about their lives that impacts them. And they have a lot of expertise and a lot of recommendations. What if someone was trying to take your child's education away? What if someone was really hurting your child and they couldn't cry to you about it or talk to you about it? Like, how would you feel if that was your child at the end of the day? So Juvenile Law Center's Youth Advocacy Program began in 2008 with Juveniles for Justice and then shortly thereafter Youth Fostering Change. I was excited, like I got a job, I can't wait to start, and I've been happy ever since. When I first got to the Youth Advocacy Program, I was kind of shy, but they made it comfortable for us to just be ourselves and they didn't put a lot of pressure on us to share our personal experiences and they just let us open up around like when we felt like it. We realized early on that people closest to the problem will have the best solution to the problem. So our program puts young people at the decision-making table to make systemic change that really includes them. And it gives you a chance to feel like, you know, you can use what happened to you to make a difference so it won't happen to other people. They kind of give you those tools to be able to advocate for yourself, to be able to recognize when your rights are being violated, and to just be ready and willing to kind of take on those challenges that come with, you know, being a young person. Here with Juveniles for Justice, the Youth Advocate Juvenile Law Center and Trusted to advocate and change the system that has been disgusted. Come up with a project, thoroughly disgust it. Make it hot dog, watch it spread like mustard for Philadelphia youth and American public. The year is always over, but too soon before it starts. And working with my colleagues be my favorite part. What matters the most is to do what matters to my heart and help the kids out that really had a bad start. Bringing to life what was written as plans. I believe I could save the world by lending a hand. Because I can't do it all, but I can do what I can. MJ Flow is crazy what I do with a can. Getting put into this job is like a bunch of people. Like, you don't know whether you're going to get along or not, but we all focus on one thing, which is helping other people. Fighting to make a difference. We're basically fighting for other people in DHS when they age out so that they won't be homeless, so that they won't be struggling. What's special about the advocacy program, in my opinion, is how it can transform a youth. And you'll be surprised at how many people have gone through the same things you went through or are going through the same things. Simply opening up the lines of communication between those making the policies and the young person being impacted. They took me on a trip to Washington. Not only did we get to see, we got to work with state officials at Capitol Hill. It was the best experience I had in the youth advocacy programs. Often these ideas that these professionals have are completely debunked by simply talking to a young person. We met with different attorneys, people that work for DHS, people that work with lawyers, people that work in like the JJ system. I was a little nervous because it was like, I'm camera shy, but I know I'm doing it for a good cause. Let's people see that there's real change being, you know, being made, there's real policies that are being affected, feet on the ground to kind of change the system. Everybody, energy is so good. Like, this is the best job I had. This is, a, all the other jobs that I've been there, I quit. I feel so comfortable around everybody. Like, everybody know my situation. I just never felt so comfortable with people before, the way that I feel with Miss Marcia and Miss Kathy and them, like they feel like family basically. That's what we want to see is more young people who feel compelled um, to be able to step up and the adults in the room making space that young people feel that they can actually speak up and be heard. That it continues to touch many youth's lives, that they continue to let youth know that they have the power to advocate for themselves. We're very committed to this work, but we recognize it's only possible because of donors and funders uh, who have provided the support. Yeah, I recommend people to work here because at the end of the day, not only can you help yourself, but you can help other kids too. 
once you feel like you can speak out and be heard, then you're gonna never stop talking. I feel like everyone should care because at the end of the day, if that was your child, you would want someone else to care. Thank you.